hopefully they turn it around next year. Yeah, well, thank you. Okay. Coming up on Eyewitness News at 6 o'clock, we continue to track the first heat wave of fall, plus new details about that deadly discovery in Lancaster after a call of a home invasion and the person now in custody. And honoring a true trailblazer, we're talking one-on-one -on -one with Jane Goodall, who is receiving a big award today. Those stories and breaking news as it happens on Eyewitness News at 6. And finally, happy National Comic Book Day to all who celebrate, whether it's Marvel or manga. Time to celebrate all things comics, including the amazing world of cosplay. And Jory, this is something that I've always loved doing. I've um, loved uh, cosplaying throughout the years, so here are some of the things that I've put together. Um, Spider-Man, um, and that was... Uh, Captain Marvel before and got to see a lot of conventions, WonderCon, Comic-Con over the years. So these were just a few things that our yeah, producers wanted to share. Some of my friends were, were into comic books. <laughs> I was nerding out on my baseball cards okay. and they were comic booking. But that is much cooler than what I was doing. <laughs> so a big win there. That's how it is. At five, we will see you at six. If I don't get dialysis three days a week, I will die. If I want to live, I have nowhere to go if my clinic shut down. I am collateral damage. Please vote no on 29. There's a lot of people that ask me why I'm running for office. I'm a grandson of immigrants. My grandparents ended up in Boyle Heights and raised three sons. They had a dream of a better life. Their dreams came true. I have served this city for 40 years. I don't want to give back to this city because I think we're in a crisis. 44,000 people looking at the streets. I love LA. I'm a proud Democrat. And this city deserves better than more corrupt leadership. My plan is simple. I will build hundreds of thousands of affordable homes, tackle homelessness, and crack down on corruption. Starting day one. Hey, it's amazing that someone comes out here like that. This is the guy. kids, more and more young people are getting hooked on sports betting. Prop 26 would lead to a massive expansion in sports betting, enticing our kids and leading to more gambling addiction, drug abuse, and crime. One of the tribal casinos bankrolling Prop 26 regularly allows underage gambling, and nothing in Prop 26 stops underage gamblers from betting on sports in a tribal casino. Vote no on Prop 26. It's gone. The Supreme Court has taken away our right to choose, giving politicians power to control women's most personal health decisions. In Washington, they're planning a nationwide ban on abortion. No exceptions, not for rape or incest. The word extreme gets tossed around a lot, but making it illegal to have an abortion, no exceptions, truly is extreme. I'm Katie Porter. I'll fight any attempt at a nationwide abortion ban, and that's why I approve this message. If I don't get dialysis three days a week, I will die. I want to live. I have nowhere to go if my clinic shut down. I am collateral damage. Please vote no on 29. Diamond Temp is brought to you by U.S. Bank. several developing stories as we come on the air. The state of Florida bracing for impact as a dangerous storm is expected to rapidly intensify into a major hurricane and thousands arrested in Russia in a violent anti-war crackdown. First, that state of emergency in Florida. Residents filling sandbags, stocking up on supplies. Officials warning people to get ready for Ian now. The storm expected to strengthen into a major hurricane in the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico before taking aim at Florida. And news from Canada and Puerto Rico tonight after a devastating hurricane wiped away homes and knocked out power. Rob Marciano standing by from Tampa with the latest hurricane track and timing out another severe weather threat in the Northeast. Major new developments in the war in Ukraine. Anger boiling over in Russia against Vladimir Putin's new draft. More than 2,000 people arrested across dozens of cities. Thousands fleeing the country. Many of them young men hoping to avoid the horrors of the battlefield. 
President Zelensky's message to the Russians who may be forced to fight, and the U.S. now warning of catastrophic consequences if Russia turns to nuclear weapons. Tom Sufi Burridge on the ground in Ukraine. 44 days away from the midterms, the battle for control of Congress is intensifying. Abortion weighing heavily on the minds of many voters as Arizona enacts a near total ban. What a new ABC News Washington Post poll says about where Americans stand on abortion and what Democrats think about whether President Joe Biden should run for a second term. The deadly protests in Iran spreading to more cities. Dozens killed in violent clashes after the death of a young woman in police custody, arrested for allegedly wearing her hijab improperly. The urgent manhunt for a killer in Philadelphia after a recent college grad is gunned down in what police think may have been a random shooting. A high school football player's tragic death, a community mourning the loss of an up-and-coming freshman after taking a hit in the second half of a game. His grieving parents now speaking out. NASA on the eve of a potential breakthrough in space, a mission in planetary defense. And major news about the next Super Bowl halftime show, what the NFL is saying about superstar Rihanna taking center stage. From ABC News World Headquarters in New York, this is World News Tonight. Good evening, it's great to have you with us on this Sunday. I'm Wade Johnson. We have a lot to cover tonight. The fury in Russia over the new draft is spreading. Authorities arresting more than 2,000 people as some Russians race to flee.